One of the things that I get asked about quite a bit and is a common misunderstanding inside Shopify is the difference between tags and meta tags. Um, meta tags are used for your SEO and your search engine optimization, which is a common term that a lot of people know nowadays uh, when they're building their website. The tags, on the other hand, that are used within Shopify are used to categorize products and group things together based on individual, well, basically individual tags. So if we have a look underneath the products page and we scroll down, we can see there's a tag section. Now, if you go and fill out these with a bunch of tags just describing your product, that's great, but it's not gonna help your search engine optimization. The best place to do your search engine optimization is down here um, under meta description and meta title. Now this doesn't give you a huge amount of flexibility because if you wanted to put keywords in here, you wouldn't be able to, you could only um, make your descriptions nice. There are apps available on the App Store. They range in prices from $6 a month all the way up to $50 for a one-time purchase. Um, there's a couple that I like to use that make it easier for you to uh, optimize your products and your collections and, and your blogs, but that's done in another video. This video here is just kind of going over the usage of tags and how to use them internally to separate things out. So one example I want to show you is that we have created this theme um, that uses um, hashtag, um, which is kind of an interesting term because it's a hash symbol with a tag, hence the hashtag. Um, but what we've done is we've created this integration with Instagram that if you use a hashtag on a product, then when you go over to the product page, you can see that it'll actually bring the images over. This is really great integration because what you can do is you can put hashtags on your products or in your boxes when you send them to customers, and then when they buy it and use it, they can use that hashtag and it'll immediately show up on your website, showing them that you appreciate them buying the product and giving some really, really great integration and, so, and, and creating a great community with that. Other themes out there also use tags for uh, for drop downs. Um, the themes support the tag drop down. This can get kind of confusing because once you start tagging everything, you start having unknown things showing up on drop downs. I like to use the collections in personally to you, and then create a navigation with a hierarchical navigation. It just gives you a little bit more control over how you want to your drop downs to show up. Um, on the customer side of things, there's some interesting things that you can do with tags. Um, there's an app out there that allows you to set up custom customer pricing um, based on a tag. So what you can do is you can add a wholesale pricing to a or a wholesale tag to a customer and then when they log in it'll detect that wholesale tag and be able to give you different pricing for them when they log in. So you're able to have a retail site that's good for um, your, your new customers and then for your more often customers that are into the wholesale, they can log in and they can get different pricing. So they can still buy the same products through your website uh, more direct. Another thing that we've used the uh, tags in the customer section for is to create private pages. So um, one of the companies that I did some work for, they have special deals that they want to offer to uh, their business customers. So if they go in and add a business tag, when they log in, it'll actually redirect them to a page which senses that business tag. And if they have the business tag under their customer name, then it will allow them to view the page. If they don't, it moves them on. Another great place to use tags is under orders. So um, after an order has gone through, you might want to put in a tag um, that explains where the order came from. So after you've you know talked with the person, maybe you have a form on there that tells you that uh, um, they actually where did they get the name of your site from. It's a good way for you to internally track magazine articles or, or media that might not be able to be linked through directly, like billboard advertising or something to that degree, uh, because later on you can pull orders out based on tags as well. Uh, the last place that's most common used for tags is on blogs, and people do this because they like to create tag clouds, or if you want to search by a specific tag, you can drop it down and you can see um, if it's like... Uh, blog post that's been supplied by a client or if it's something that's new in the news or if you got to just like if you're just chatting about some interesting information you can put those tags in there and split the part out either way the tags is a super powerful way to use the back end uh, situation with uh, Shopify um, check in in a few weeks or so I'm going to be doing a separate blog post for the SEO component of it to show you how to actually optimize your products with SEO um, but for now that's how you use tags and that's what they're used for